guys, Off Grid with Michigan Prepared back. Uh, the only reason why I'm making this video is because <sighs> today is what, the, the 4th? Let me look. Hold on. Uh, yeah, the 4th. Sorry about that angle. Um, so, I keep seeing all these YouTubers. Don't mind the hair, I woke up not that long ago. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Anyway, woke up not that long ago, and uh, all my notifications when I first opened my phone and scrolled down, nothing but these prepping channels talking that I subscribe to. I've been following for years, um, and they're all talking about well, you know, tomorrow, tomorrow's a big day, and. Uh, you know, you just go get supplies now and, and you know, protect yourself and, and whatever else. And, and uh, you know, uh, make sure you have uh, Bluetooth hole punchers and you guys know what I mean. And, and whatever else. And it's going to be horrific. And some of these YouTuber prepping channels are saying, well... Something big is going to happen before the election, and well, today's the day because today's the day before the election, and I don't know, guys. Listen, regardless of the outcome, all right, regardless of the outcome, uh, if Kamala wins, look, whatever, congratulations, keep prepping because this world's going to shit. Uh, if Trump wins, congratulations, keep prepping because the world's still going to shit. All right, now we're we're too deep. This that's what people don't realize is we're too freaking deep into the bullshit for anything to change, anything to turn around. You think even if you are a Trump supporter, Kamala supporter, whatever, it doesn't matter at this point because no matter which one gets in, the shit's not going to stop. Uh, Trump vows to get in and, and just stop all this war. No, it can't happen. He's not just going to wave some magic wand and put an end to all the bullshit going on. It, it, it's escalated too far. They've had four years to escalate. You think Israel's just suddenly going to stop bombing Iran? You think Iran's going to stop bombing Israel? Babe. Yes, it's pink. It's good. Shut up. Uh, you th you think uh, Russia's going to pull out of uh, Ukraine? Not going to happen. Uh, it's just, we're in too deep, guys. They're going to continue to do whatever the hell they want to do. It's about a superpower. It's about global currency. You know, who's, who's going to have the global currency? Who's, who's going to reign on top? <laughs> the U.S. has been top dog for many years, and, and history has shown that, uh, step inside this door a little bit because it's starting to rain, got the dogs outside, but history has shown that every everybody that's been on top before has always crashed. Every kingdom has failed, and, and the U.S. has been on top for so many years, it's, it's bound to fall. Uh my point is, is I really don't see anything changing, guys. Um, I mean, yeah, we, with Trump, we might have lower taxes. Uh, inflation might go down somehow. But to undo what the Dems did in four years, uh, I don't... All right, it might get a little better, but I don't think it's going to get back to normal. I, I just don't really see it. And, like I said, as far as all this war and, and, and stuff coming to an end, I, I just, I don't foresee it happening. And, uh, you know, because our, our president of the United States does not control Israel, does not control Iran, does not control Russia. Uh... Yeah, well, I guess we kind of control Ukraine with the, the amount of money we've sent them, which is ridiculous amounts. Uh, but the fact that North Korea is now in with uh, Russia and Iran, I mean, in China, 
and, and China still wants to take over Taiwan. And I just, guys, th there's not a magic light switch that can be switched that's going to fix things overnight. It doesn't matter who it is. So you guys need to keep prepping. Um, keep stocking up. Keep preparing for whatever may come. Because uh, after tomorrow, guys, some states are reporting that they could they need up to like 12 extra days to uh, to cheat. I mean, to to count the votes because they don't have enough manpower to do it. So as far as I'm concerned, and my, my personal point of view, is the Republicans are the peaceful party. So if Kamala wins, I really don't foresee, I mean, you might have a few bad actors. There's always a couple of bad apples in the bunch, right? Uh, I really don't foresee much happening. Um, now, if Trump wins, oh, I, uh, I feel, I foresee a lot happening, you know, a replay of, uh, what was it? Minnesota that, that burnt down pretty much uh, a couple of years ago. All the riders in the street burning down buildings, attacking police. Yeah. So if Trump wins, I see a little rioting going on. I don't see it like on a mass glo or uh, uh, country countrywide scale is what I'm trying to say. I was going to say global scale, but that didn't make sense. But I don't see it on a country-wide scale to where the, the entire U.S. is just up in flames, regardless how many millions of supporters Trump's, uh, Trump or Kamala has. Um, and I, I, I think if anything happens, it's going to be the bigger, bigger cities. It's going to be Atlanta, Georgia, Houston, Texas, uh, uh, maybe Chicago, New York, uh uh, places of that nature. Uh, my little ass town here in Muskegon, Michigan, I don't foresee much happening. Um, I don't know. I would just, uh, whenever the, uh, the results officially come in, because I don't think it's going to be tomorrow, or tomorrow night anyway, uh, when the official results come in, just keep your heads on a swivel. I would not stop preparing, prepping, getting the supplies that you need because, like I said, there's no magic light switch that can be flipped. Uh, th this stuff is still going to happen. Um, Trump might be able to slow it down a little bit as, as he says he's going to stop it, but I, I highly doubt it. He might be able to slow it down a little bit. But as, as far as coming to a complete halt, I, I just don't see it. Uh, so don't believe what you're hearing on on social media and I, hell don't even believe me i don't care but uh i still think things are going to get bad guys inflation is retarded the price of gold is through the roof and usually when gold is high the u.s dollar value goes down so and we're looking at some major inflation uh, gold prices are last I checked 2800 which is insane when we started this crap they were at like 1800 so they've gone up a hundred percent or so if I'm doing my math correctly which I'm probably not I don't know keep prepping guys um, keep getting your things in order um, worst comes to worst if everything irons out this world smooths out inflation is down taxes are down food prices are back down gas is back down then just, you know, help out the homeless with whatever food you got stocked up. And, and Well, unless you want to eat it. I don't know. That's what I plan to do. I plan to help the homeless. You know, hey, if you're homeless and here, I got the stockpile of food. Here you go. Take some. Whatever. Uh, I don't know. But it, it's just frustrating, guys. All, all these freaking prepper channels talk about, oh, you better stock up now. Go to my store and, and, and buy this and get this. And you need to hurry up and get this before it's too late. And, I don't think it's going to get to that point, guys. The only thing I think that is going to bring us to our knees is if we piss off Russia or piss off Iran or piss off North Korea and they launch a, 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 a skyburst nuke, which will create an EMP and wipe out our power grid. That's the only thing I see. At, well, unless they actually attack us on our soil and bombs are falling. 
But even then, I still think the majority of people are going to go about their normal lives because they're going to be bombing big cities. Again, Chicago and Washington and New York and, and Atlanta, Georgia, Houston, Texas, and San Francisco, California. And, uh, I don't know, guys. I just keep prepping until, until we know what the hell is going to happen. Um, have your uh, freedom seeds at the ready once these results come in. People may riot, especially if... If you're a Trump supporter and you have a Trump flag up, speaking of which, I got to take the sticker off my truck. Uh, but if you if you got some sort of indication that you're a Trump supporter, remove it, just because you might be a target. I'm not saying run scared or anything like that. I'm just saying don't be a target. Take that shit down. Don't give them a reason to to shoot up your house, bust out your windows, uh, to uh, to destroy your vehicle. Uh, just don't give them a reason, guys. Um, and, and you already know these little whiny-ass uh, college-grade liberals, uh, they don't need anything to whine about. They'll just whine just to whine. So <sighs> keep prepping, guys. Don't believe all this scare tactic bullshit that these uh, these other prepper YouTubers keep putting out. It, it's just it's nonsense, guys. Uh, I just wanted to put my two cents in there. So with that being said, I love you all. Keep your heads on a swivel, especially now more than ever. Keep your heads on a swivel. Uh, but with that being said, uh, Off Grid with Michigan Prepared is out. Have a good day, my friends.